This is the first video for project number two uh, for IQ. It's a line pattern project and this is a little help in how to get the patterns which I have created for this project. Now I have posted them on my Facebook page and on the Friends Using IQ Facebook page um, as well as a link on actually at iqdemos.com blog. So three places you can download them for. Okay, this is my Facebook page. This is the post. I'm going to click on this. This is what you will see. Here is the line pattern project zip. It's got several patterns in it. And what you will do is hit download. And it will download to your computer. Now off to the side here you can see this computer is set up to have the downloads appear on the desktop. So it's popped right here. Okay, so in the next little part of this video, I will show you how to move them from your computer to your tablet and how to organize your patterns. So here I am at a different computer showing you how to open up that zipped file, which is here on my desktop, and transfer the patterns to my uh, IQ thumb drive. So I'm going to click on the zip and it just opens it up when I click on it and there's the folder and I'm going to click on the folder to open that up so you can see all the patterns. I brought it to the front. There it is. So you can see there are a lot of patterns in this folder. Um, we are not using them all on the project but they are I created them all to be used on this project until I decided I didn't want to use them all. So, But I'm giving them all to you anyway. Uh, notice the patterns all have DXF as a suffix, but here's one that says IQQ. That's telling me it's not a pattern, it's a quilt, and it's the quilt map. Uh, we won't be using the map for the project, but I thought you might like to have it just to uh, use in the future sometime. It's kind of nice to have these maps and you can just play around moving patterns into them to see what they look like. So these have to go into two different folders. The IQQ has to go into the quilts folder on your IQ thumb drive and the DXF, which are all patterns, have to go into the patterns folder. So we'll do that. I'll just move this window over so I can open up my thumb drive, which is here. Open up the thumb drive. Here is my quilts folder, so I'm going to grab the, the map. No, 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 I'm not opening it, I'm just moving it. Uh, I'm grabbing it and I'll move it over to my quilts folder on my thumb drive and there it is, shows it nicely. Let's just close that up. Uh, now I'm going to open the patterns folder just because it's easier to move all those into the patterns folder when it's open for me. So I will grab these first three patterns. No, I don't want to open it. Uh, actually, I'll grab them all. I think I can just drag, but I'll just click. Oh no, get out of there. And I'll just drag them all to my patterns folder. Okay, let's bring that forward so you can see it. Okay, so all the patterns are there. Um, let's go back so you can see the US, everything that's on my thumb drive. We'll close that up. And now I can safely remove my thumb drive. Okay, and we'll just close that up. Let's close that up. Okay, I'm going to take my thumb drive from my computer now. And I'm going to over here to my tablet. I'm at the main menu. I'm wanting this load designs. Load. Waiting for the thumb drive. Okay, good. Please remove the USB and touch back. So we'll do that, touch back. Now, before we go any further, uh, check on your tablet before you download these 
these patterns. Uh, if your downloads folder on your tablet already has patterns in it, then move them out of there, get them out of there, move them to other catalogs so that downloads folder is empty before you add these new patterns. It'll make the next step so much easier. So I'm going to go to Utilities, Library Maintenance, Pattern Library, and I'm going to move these patterns. Move. Okay, let's go to the Downloads folder. There it is. Here are all the patterns that we've just downloaded. And I'm going to move them all. So I'm going to touch Move. It says, would you like to move all the patterns from this catalogue? Yes. Would you like to leave copies of the patterns in this catalogue? No. And they are going to go into a new catalogue. So I'm going to hit Select. Now this catalogue I want it at the top of my library list so it's easy for me to uh, select the patterns I need for this project. In order to put this catalogue at the top of the list I'm going to put some spaces in front of its name. So I'll go space, I'm just going to put one space, and I'm going to call this catalogue line pattern. project. Enter. So now all those patterns are in that uh, catalogue. Now there are two more patterns I want to move into this catalogue, the arc and the line from the geometric catalogue. So I'm going to my, to my geometric catalogue. Here is arc. I highlighted it because I only want to move that one. I'll move it. Would you like to leave a copy in this catalogue? Yes. There's its name, ARC. I don't need to change it. So I'll hit enter and I'm going to put it in my line pattern project catalogue. Now I'm going to, I'm back at my geometric catalogue and I'm going to touch the L so I can find line. Move. Yes, I want to leave a copy here. Line and put it in my line pattern project. Select. OK, so now that's all ready. Uh, there's nothing else I need to move. My line pattern project catalogue is at the top of the list, exactly where I want it. Um, if you already have spaces in front of catalogue names at the top of your list, either put dashes or even more spaces so that it gets to the top of the list. OK, now where's that quilt map? Let's back out of here because we've finished organising the patterns. The quilt map went into the quilt library because it was a quilt. And we are going to move it. Uh, here it is in the downloads. Now it's a quilt because it's multiple blocks. That makes it a quilt. Um, multiples of patterns or multiples of blocks altogether are a quilt. I'm going to move it from here. So we will do, we will touch it. I will select move. Would you like to leave a copy here? No. And there's the name, line pattern project map. Enter, and I'm going to move it into my Quilt Maps catalogue. And that's where I'll find it for future use. Uh, let's have a look at what else is in there. I have quite a lot of Quilt Maps that I play around with, you know, placing patterns. Uh, so it will be like L, Line Pattern Project, is where it should be. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So now we're all set. Um, so uh, go to IQ Demos dot com the blog you can download the patterns from there if you're not on Facebook uh, the instructions for making this little quilt are there and then the next video will be starting to sew so thank you I hope you enjoy this project